hi a very good morning children happy friday all of you okay in the previous class we have finished the notes regarding the lesson krishna and sudama as i told you in the previous chapter previous class in this session i am going to teach you some grammar portions in english grammar portions i am going to teach you it seems i have told you i hope you all remember okay before going to uh, learn about grammar portions i want to uh, give one notes regarding the lesson give one notes regarding the lesson krishna and sudama please open your in ev sorry english class book okay subject what i uh, whatever i am going to give you now it's not there in the uh, test book children okay for your knowledge i am giving this one okay subject english this is also a part of grammar okay according to the lesson i am going to explain you uh, about this notes okay from the lesson only i have taken some words to explain about this notes topic krishna and sudama class first standard today date april 9th <coughs> right yes april 9th uh, then friday day is friday okay first one uh, you just put the next main uh, if you are writing if you have finished six mains means you just put seven main okay seventh main it seems uh now i'm going to give you one sentence you should tell me the sentence uh, who said this sentence it seems you have to tell me who is the speaker who said this sentence who said it to whom it seems you have to tell me okay if you read the lesson then only you can say who told who said it seems otherwise you can't okay now i'll uh, check how many of them uh, read the lesson it seems okay the first statement is this is some poha that my wife made for you t capital this is some s o m e some poha this is some poha that my wife that my wife made for you the question is who is the speaker means who said who is the speaker now you tell me children i hope you can say the answer this is some poha the sentence whatever i have written on the board the sentence i have taken it from the lesson itself okay this is not out of the lesson this is not uh, out of the syllabus it seems no don't think like that okay this the sentence is from lesson krishna and sudama lesson okay uh, i have written the what what i have written the statement right this is some poha that my wife made for you i have taken it from the lesson itself understood okay now you tell me who is the speaker who told this sentence to whom who is the speaker yes sudama yes sudama is the speaker sudama is the speaker uh, right only the name sudama okay who is the speaker sudama the next question one more question i'm going to give you regarding this statement that is shall i erase okay regarding the same statement i am going to give you one more uh, question that is who he is he is speaking to who uh, 
he said to whom who is he who he is he speaking to the statement uh to whom he said the statement we already knew the statement uh told by sudama itself right who is the speaker sudama is the speaker who said this said the statement sudama right to whom he said to whom he said or else we can write like that only to whom he said it says okay second one we can write to whom he said who is the speaker the first question sudama is the speaker the second question to whom he said the statement to whom he said sudama said to whom sudama said to krishna right down to whom he said he said it to he kept h capital he said to krishna k capital krishna okay so in this way also you may get questions in the exams that's the reason i have just explained okay if you read the lesson you can easily say who said it to whom it seems or else you can't understand that's the reason i just keep on telling you to read the lesson read the lesson i don't know how many of them at the lessons it seems okay fine the next question i hope you all have done okay next question that is this is what about who said it to whom the next question is second one i s slash w capital w h a t word slash t h i s okay is what this here i have shuffled some words we need to arrange it properly and we have to make it a proper sentence and the thing what we should remember we uh, we have to write the capital word where we have to put the full stop where we have to put the question mark it seems here uh, the one word is what what means question word so this is easily you can say this is a question sentence this is a question not a answer right this is a question so at the end of the sentence what we need to put at the end of the sentence we need to put question mark not full stop because this is a question word the question is start from what when when where who it seems we need to end the sentence by question mark okay and one more thing we have to remember that is in the question beginning whatever the sentence beginning we have to start with capital letter we have to start with capital letter whatever is there either it is question uh, or answer whatever is there the question in the beginning what we have going to write in the beginning a uh, letter should be in capital understood okay the answer is now we are going to arrange these words in a proper way what is this w capital what is is this in this in this type of question also you may get it in the exam that's the reason i am just doing this uh, worksheet okay fine what is this why i have putting this question mark children because this is question sentence see the sentence start with what when where who why means this is all question sentences so we need to end the question sentences with question mark not in not with full stop understood okay the third one i hope you understood third one one more word l o r d slash lord o f of slash b e c a n e slash krishna k r i s h n a krishna again slash t h i d a t h i d a again put one slash i don't have space that's the reason i'm writing here next dwaraka dwaraka okay here easily you can say this is one statement not question sentence it seems this is one statement here the words are shuffled we need to arrange it in a proper way okay we should make it in a proper sentence we should make it a proper sentence so krishna became the 
Lord of Dwarka. Krishna became the Lord of Dwarka. Understood? Okay. Why I have written? Why we have to write Krishna with capital letter? Sometimes I have already told you. Whatever uh, we are writing, we are going to write the sentence. The first letter should be in capital. That is true, children. Okay. Sometimes in the middle also we need to write the capital letters. Why? I tell you. Uh, a person for a person for a month for a day for a monument like uh, the name of Taj Mahal Taj okay mm, then this type of uh, words comes in a middle means we have to write in a capital letters we have to write those words in a capital letter for a person for a uh, for a days for a month for a place for a monument we have to write if it comes in a middle also we have to write in a capital letter the word should be start with a capital letter if it is comes in a middle also okay whatever we are going to start the sentence the first letter should be in capital that is true along with that you have to remember this one also for a person for a place for a monument for a uh, then for a place you have to write those words with a capital letter if it is comes in a middle also okay that's the reason see here krishna k capital okay krishna became the lord l again capital lord of dwaraka it is a place right dwaraka so we have written d capital <coughs> understood i hope you clear okay write down the answer answer krishna became the lord of dwaraka okay put full stop for sentence we have to end with full stop for questions we have to end with question mark okay fine i hope you all understood about what i have taught now okay now we'll come to the grammar portion this is also one type of grammar part of a grammar okay full stop question mark then capital s we have where we have to write the capital letters then who is the speaker to whom he said it. So this is all part of grammar portion only children. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now, as I told you in the previous chapter, uh, previous class, uh, next session I am going to teach you some grammar portions it seems. In this uh, session I am going to teach you about homophones, antonyms, antonyms and one more synonyms. Okay, homophones, about homophones, about antonyms, about Synonyms, I am going to teach you. These three are the grammar portions. Okay, I am going to teach you in this session. I hope you are all ready to listen the grammar class now. Okay, fine. The portions are, grammar portions are. Topic. English. Grammar. Okay. Homophones. And one more. Antonyms. <clears throat> Antonyms. And one more. Synonyms. Antonyms. Synonyms. Okay. Homophones. Antonyms and synonyms you are going to learn in this English grammar session. Okay. The first one is homophones. What do you mean by homophones? Homophones means, you know, for example, one or uh, more than one word, like one or two words, the pronunciation is same. The pronunciation is same, but the meanings are different. Sometimes meanings are different as well as uh, the uh, spelling of the words are also different. Sometimes spellings will be also same. That are called homophones. Understood? Homophones means uh, two or more words. One or uh, two words. The pronunciation is same. 
spellings and meanings are different sometimes spellings will be also same that words are called homophones for example see here week week one more week both are will say week for both words will say week only but here the meanings are this week means uh, day by day i'm become very weak weak right It's showing our body nature day by day uh, you are becoming very weak why you are not taking uh, uh, right amount of food it seems right that week is different week it's related to our body week weakness right this week is days of week sunday monday tuesday so here the pronunciation is same for both words the pronunciation is same week week but the meanings are different at the same time spelling is also different okay this is called what homophones understood okay next i told you sometime the spellings will be same for example watch and one more watch the first watch is this one watch it tells the time this watch tells the time one more watch watch the tv i am watching the tv what you are doing i am watching the video now watch so here spellings also same pronunciation is also same but the meanings are different this is called what homophones i hope you all understood about homophones now okay next come to the antonyms okay antonyms is a word antonyms is a word opposite nearly the meaning of another word we are antonyms is nothing but opposite word children opposite word is nothing but antonyms antonyms is nothing but opposite words okay antonyms is a word nearly the meaning of another word whatever they are giving the word right we have to write the opposite of that word for example fat fat opposite word antonym word of fat that is thin right this is called antonyms one or two examples i am going to write now small big right yes next rich poor this is what antonyms antonyms are the word antonyms is a word we have to write the opposite word of a opposite word nearly the meaning of another word okay antonyms is nothing but opposite words i hope you understood about homophones and antonyms now homophones spellings uh, the pronunciation is same but the spellings and meanings are different sometimes the spelling will be the spellings also will be same antonyms is nothing but opposite words okay for example small big rich poor then happy sad then near for these are the uh, examples of antonyms okay uh, more examples for homophones blue blue means this one color blue one more blue is blowing the balloon blue okay that blue okay then sun sun yes u n sun is a sun rises in the east that sun surya okay one more sun is sun maga in that way also uh, we can give the examples of homophones these are the few examples of homophones understood okay fine uh, one more example i can give that is c and c s e a c is ocean big ocean c samudra one more c c e e c c here no do c okay that is also one examples of for homophones okay the last one is synonyms okay shall i erase children next about synonyms 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 is a word synonyms is a word we have to write the another word same meaning of another word synonyms is a word uh, nearly the same meaning of another word synonyms is nothing but we have to write the same meaning of the whatever they have given the word right for example happy what you have to write the same meaning of happy 
meaning for happy one more word for happy that is called synonym synonyms is a word nearly the same meaning of another word okay see so happy we have, we can write glad right yes next up for beautiful for beautiful what we can write mm. yes pretty you are looking very pretty you are so beautiful right yes then happy glad we can write then close the board is very closer to me near we can write yes then journey travel then house home right in this way we can understand about synonym synonym is a word uh, nearly the meaning of another word whatever they have given the word right we have to write the another meaning okay we should write the another meaning of that word means padavala artha in kannada we call it as padavala artha artha bareyi you have to write the meanings okay it should related to the to that word only you can't write another word any other word you can't write children it's supposed to it related to the same word like beautiful is also uh, says yes you are beautiful pretty means is also beautiful it should be related each other okay close close is also near near means close okay the meanings are the meanings the word meanings are should be same the words meaning should be same that is called synonyms i hope you all understood about homophones antonyms and synonyms homophones means the uh, sometimes the pronunciation is same for the words the spellings and uh, meanings are different that uh, that one is called homophones that antonyms means is nothing but opposite words we have to write opposite word of the a uh, particular word okay opposite word we have to write whatever they have given the word right we have to write the opposite word next synonyms means we have to write the same meaning of the word the word uh, the words meaning should be same okay right this is what english grammar portions i have done in this session okay i hope you all have understood about the antonyms synonyms and homophones okay children thank you bye bye